Howdy folks, it's time for some sports card talk. Since it's Mother's Day coming up, I thought I'd uh, show off some uh, Mother's Cookies cards from uh, 1953. And uh, first and foremost, let me wish uh, Happy Mother's Day to uh, all the moms out there. Um, these Mother's Cookies cards were issued in 1952 and 1953. They were a uh, minor league set issued by Mother's Cookies, obviously. Uh, you could get them in bags of Mother's Cookies. And uh, uh, like I said, there were 63 cards in the 1953 set and 64 in the 52 set. So, uh, but they they differed a little bit th from the uh, Topps and Bowman cards from the day uh, because these cards had no border and uh, they had rounded corners. So obviously it made them a little bit different than the Topps and Bowman cards. Uh, but the colors on these cards are really neat. They just they just pop. They, they just really are awesome. The way to show off on these. I think the color scheme is great. Um, these cards basically have a little bit of statistics for the uh, individual players on the back, and most of it is dedicated to an album that you can buy if uh, you want an album to collect these uh, cards. And uh, the uh, backs are pretty similar on both of them. And uh, like I said, I, I think the artwork on these cards are great. The, the, the background is just, it's just lovely the way it makes the uh, players pop on these cards. Um, another reason I wanted to show off these two cards is uh, these were two, probably two of the best players in the Negro Leagues in the 1940s. They, they, were, they were awesome athletes. Um, and they really got cheated out of playing. Uh, Major League Baseball. Uh, they were awesome athletes in the Negro Leagues. Um, Roy Wellmaker here was uh, uh, one of the best pitchers in the Negro Leagues in the late 30s and 1940s. He uh, played mostly with the Homestead Grays and he helped lead the Homestead Grays to a World Series title in 1944. In uh, 1946 he won the Pitching Triple Crown in the Venezuelan League and uh, the uh, pitching triple crown would be leading the league in strikeouts, ERA, and wins. Um, he began playing in the minor leagues in 1949 at the age of 36 and never made it into the majors, but he was an awesome pitcher. And uh, like I said, he kind of got cheated out of uh, being able to uh, play in the majors. Um, this player here is Lorenzo Piper Davis. Uh, Piper is a nickname of his uh, from the town he was uh, grew up in. Uh, he was a versatile infielder and outfielder. He was an uh, excellent fielder, excellent all-around player. Um, he mostly played for the uh, Birmingham Black Barons, and he helped lead the uh, Black Barons to uh, three pennants in the uh, 1940s. Uh, Six-time All-Star. He hit uh, 393 in 1948. Brant's Ricky considered signing Piper Davis over Jackie Robinson as the uh, first uh, black player in major leagues, but then he decided that uh, Piper Davis was a little too old, so he wanted someone younger. Um, Piper Davis began playing in the minors in 1950 at the age of 32. He also never got to make it to the major leagues. Um, now, the interesting thing about Piper Davis is he became a manager for the uh, Birmingham Black Barons. And uh, he signed Willie Mays as a youngster to play for the team. And um, he basically taught Willie Mays everything he knew about baseball. Willie Mays credits uh, Piper Davis for teaching him how to hit a curveball and also for teaching him how to properly field a uh, ball being hit through the infield. So... Uh, uh, Piper Davis and uh, Roy Wellmaker, two uh, awesome players. They they would have been superstars in Major League Baseball, but they were uh, cheated out of a chance to get there. But uh, they just show off really well on these uh, Mother's Day <laughs> Mother's Cookies, which I'm showing off for Mother's Day. And um, I think people you should collect the cards you like, uh, not what other people tell you to collect. These are not household names, so... They're not going to, you know, tend to cost big bucks. But these were uh, superstar athletes and uh, really deserve all the respect in the world. Um, 
now uh, what I want to say now is uh, guys don't forget your moms be nice to your moms this weekend uh, actually be nice to your moms always and uh, be nice to all the mothers in your life do something nice for them and uh, uh, tell them all to have a happy Mother's Day anyway uh, have an awesome day and have a happy Mother's Day to all the moms thanks bye